Hey guys, Blithrin here. I'm going to do a commentary and this one's going to be how to master the targeting system. So recently there's been a lot of talk about this new targeting. Basically what happened is Pixonic changed the targeting and it got screwed up again. And that ended up happening where the targeting was just screwed up for the last two or three weeks. And now they fixed it again. And I feel like people still can't get the hang of it. I, and I'm here to help you guys on how to do it. Right now, I've... I'm actually just voicing over this gameplay. I, I played it a little bit earlier, and I tried to do text little text boxes, but it was, it was taking up too much space, and I was just like, you know what, I'll just commentate over it. Um, a few quick things before we get started on this video. I changed my name. Our clan decided that we want Rambo at the end of our name. So we all, most of our clan has changed our name. My name is Evil Rambo. Um, you're gonna notice, I think we have another Rambo. I think he's real Rambo. Uh, actually, no, I don't think so. Um, we also have a few CNTI guys in our clan. So my Blithrin is gone. Um, I get, I'm still kind of not used to the whole Blithrin not being there. Um, so what's going on right now is you're noticing, so targeting, if in the bottom right corner, you can notice that there's a little robot switch. And that's called locking onto a target. That is something that the, uh, the uh, developers have allowed everyone to do. It, it's something you can you can do or you can't do. It's a simple choice. I'd recommend it. Mo all top clans use it. There's no one that doesn't use it. It's, it's one of the most essential things. So right now, usually locking on my target you, um, depicts that that's the target I want to attack. And it's best using a group of targets. Usually if it's a single target, you don't need to. So you're seeing right now, I'm, I'm locking onto this target because I thought I could hit him. I couldn't hit him, he jumped out of range. I was like, all right, I'm gonna hit this carnage. Uh, Zeus, but he was out of range. Um, so here I'm like, all right, jumps up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I think I jump to the left and hit him. Yeah, I think I get a good, good amount of damage into him before, before I. No, I think I still, I'm still hitting him. Yeah. So right now, he's basically he's screwed. He once he jumps out again, he's done. I'm noticing. All right, teammates have the right side. I'm gonna come over here. I think I, yeah, I'm an engaging, and I'm like, oh, perfect. Lancelot's has turned around. I'm gonna help out. Um, I think that's uh, Dread. All right, so he's, he's he's turned to me. I can't take. Usually, uh, brawlers don't do well against Lancelot, so I'm like, all right, I'm I'm booking it. I'm gonna hit this guy. He got me good, so I'm gonna get him back. And right now, you're gonna notice I don't lock onto the target because he's alone. I, there's no. It's not my little target locking isn't going to bounce around the whole time right now. And yeah, I'm gonna hit him. And right now, I was like, all right, I'm, we're sitting pretty good. I mean, I've I've nailed a couple guys, and then this. Rogetta, I this guy killed me. So right now that guy completely wasted all of his organs. He missed every shot. <clears throat> and then I'm like, oh this Lancelot, he's screwed. Alright. And I'm like, alright, I can engage a little bit. I think I end up I end up killing him. I almost got a shot off. I was so mad. I was so close. And also one thing I did is um So what you're gonna notice right now is I'm just showing I I'm locking onto different targets. I'm checking the ranges. So I'm like all right, 700, 1,000, 900, or I can't really tell on the small little screen. I'm just checking ranges. I'm seeing where everyone's at just to know what I'm working with. And so if anyone's got tridents, I know not to stay 600 meters or more out of his range. <clears throat> I totally lost track of what I was saying. Um, oof, shoot, dude. Oh, okay. So one one thing I, I heard about is don't Griffins are, I, I put in two brawlers because I wanted to up, uh, ante up my damage. And um, it, it's, it's gone up tremendously. I, I'm, at, I'm at an amazing percent uh, damage average percentage. It's amazing. Uh, but one thing I've noticed is brawlers, they'll start losing their weapons halfway through hell. It's very annoying. The developers have nerfed them secretly. They did not tell us about this secret nerf. But they'll lose weapons ha about with about, uh, after about half their health is gone. And it is very annoying. And as you can see right now, I'm playing very defensive. And that's because brawlers don't do well personally against Lancelot. Um, and I don't really want to lose this bot right now. Um, so what you're going to see right now is for me is I'm actually going to force this. If he really wants me, he's going to have to go under the bridge for me. So what I do is I jump under the bridge, forcing him to move to a new target. And right now I think, yeah. So one thing about Lancelot is unless you're in, right in front of me, I can still do damage to you under your shield. Basically, I just avoided his whole shield. And I noticed this guy's an RBD. I'm trying to make it to this. This corner, right, this this wall right here. I think I make it, and then I'm gonna force him down. Yeah. I, okay. So I lock. So if you notice, I locked onto him because there's a target right behind him, and I, I don't want it to jump while I'm moving. 
And as you can notice, I, I've lost most of my weapons. I think I was like 40,000 health and I finally I lost the Magnum. It's very annoying, but I think they're trying to nerf it so basically everyone's not using Griffins anymore because the, the, these Griffins are the number one bot to use in the game. And right now I've got a range of 500 meters and so I'm gonna work around with that. So I'm like looking, I'm seeing who who do I want to head towards? And I'm basically just going to head right down this bridge until I can find a target. Um, right now, I'm, looking, I'm noticing that Zeus Carnage has been in that for a very long time. Actually, since the beginning of the game. Um, sorry about text, guys. I, I don't turn off my notifications. Um, so it's, it's kind of, so if you guys get annoyed by it, I'm, I'm kind of sorry. So right now, I'm like, all right, perfect. This guy is 500 meters. All right, he's mine. We nail him. He gets taken out. All right, so I'm like, who can I hit next? And I'm like, all right, this is actually a really fun jump. Like, I get super high in the air. I wish I could have shot. So it's such an awesome action shot to have gotten. And this, I don't, I have no clue what this bow was doing. He has Terrans, but he wasn't shooting at me. He was well in range of hitting me. I don't know why he didn't hit me. I'm just checking to make sure he was dead. Um, I'm still looking at this Carnage Zeus. This Zeus, this guy's got to go. He's still on his first bot, and most of us are all on our third or fourth bots. First, second, or fourth, one of those four. Um, and so I actually, I, I, th I thought I got him, but it looks like my teammate got him with Columbus. It looks like we both fired at the same exact time. And right here, I'm, I'm, you're not seeing me lock on yet because I haven't fully decided on who I want to hit. And so I'm like, okay, that's a stalker. And so I lock onto him. So once the stealth of the the stalker leaves, it won't, my targeting won't bounce to the closest target and now I'm like all right this this stalker has to go and one stupid thing I did was pop out and open I, I let him get a couple free good shots into me and I know a, st a stealth of a stalker is about 16 seconds and I know I'm well I'm not I'm about about he's about at 12 seconds but oh man my bad never mind he actually, actually was able to get stalk stealth on totally forgot about it so this stalker was very crappy in his aim. He didn't get. He only got like two more shots off on me. All right. So now I'm like, all right, this guy is so screwed. I wait two seconds. I get the jump. Columbus into him. I think. I think we get him. Yeah. I think I got him. Yeah. It's really weird. I'm not used to the evil Rambo, so I'm kind of getting used to this new name. One thing about me is, if you'll notice in my future gameplay, I used to play a lot with an RBD, so I do really well close range with him. I know how to maneuver him and how to work with the weapon. And one thing I've noticed about an RBD, I usually wait until I'm fully loaded up. Oh, one, one uh, little fact here, I waited for someone to take out the shield of the carnage just so I could take in the damage. I didn't wanna just shoot the shield and let someone else get free damage, I let someone else take that. That's kinda of a little cheap of me, but that's what I did. Um, one thing about it, I love using an RBD. I can easily be 200 meters within you, I'll, well, I'll take you on. That's just something I practice with them and I've, I've really used them. And, gotten good at it all right so it looks like that's it guys hey please leave a like comment subscribe if you liked it if you didn't go ahead and do whatever have a good one guys